Hey, Weasel in the Wild here again, and today I got a package. I've been waiting for this for a week. I feel like a kid at Christmas. What do I have? Sure. Stealth can. Yeah. I'm going to be setting this up to do some turkey scouting. We have six tags to fill this year. Six, during a general season hunt on public land. That's a lot of tags. We have uh, our spot, and we know that the turkeys come in there, but I don't know how often they come in there. Is it once a week? Is it once a month? Is it, did I just get really lucky last year and have a turkey fly down into this particular spot and then they never really go there? And so I wanna know if this spot's really that good because I'm taking Cody, who's uh, nine years old, Kenzie, who's 11, turning 12 in June, and Connor, this will be his third or fourth year hunting turkeys, and he's never killed one yet. And so we want to be able to get those kids in on some birds and get their tags filled at least, and maybe the area doesn't have enough toms for all six of us. Oh, my wife, April, will also be hunting turkeys, So, and my dad. So there's six tags that, that are going to need to be filled. Now, it's public land. How do you protect this investment? So I also bought this Master Lock Python lock to lock the camera to the tree. And then you've got to protect your SD card because you don't want somebody taking your SD card and all your footage. So I got a camouflage Master Lock. How cool is that? Camo! Yeah, we don't need some shiny lock giving away the position my trail cam. They make these things camel for a reason, and it isn't to hide them from the animals. The animals can smell them. Well, not turkeys. They can't smell them, thank God. Okay, so, and then of course I've got uh, lithium-ion batteries. And uh, from the reviews and things that I've read online with trail cameras, it's really important to use lithium-ion batteries, not rechargeables, not just regular alkalines. And of course two 32 gig SD cards, because I'm going to be checking this thing once a week and it's an hour away from my house just to drive to where I hike in to go turkey hunting. So when I go to check my card, I'll just swap it out with a new card, come home, review the photos, videos, whatever's on there. So now I'm going to open this up and I'm going to set it up and do some testing. See how these, how these photos turn out, uh, how the videos turn out, and then we'll be ready to go set them up for turkeys. Well, the testing of the trail camera works. It's really easy to use. That's a good thing. And uh, now let's go set it up. A little bit of a drive. This is cool. We got here uh, to the parking spot and right in these trees behind me, there's probably six or seven deer and I couldn't even get my iPhone out fast enough to, to get them on film. And took off as soon as I parked the truck. Pretty neat to see some wildlife. And uh, now let's do a little hiking. think the deer cross here very often? <laughs> this is the spot. I'd like to set my tent up right here in between these trees. So now I gotta figure out which uh, which one I want to put the trail cam on. Probably this one over here. Here's 
set up on the tree. Secured. camera has some some settings that are just presets and one of them which is really neat is a test mode and basically what it does is it tells you when it's sensing movement so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on test mode and see where it's gonna be catching me when you go to test you'll see a green light it's sensing movement so it's telling me with that green light where it's when it's catching me move So I'll do some walking around now. I've done my little testing there. So now what I'm going to do is I put the video or put the camera on my custom uh, setting, which is actually film a 60 second video when it senses movement. And what I'm going to do is go over behind this tree where it can't see me and come out there because the turkeys typically hit about the other side of that tree when they land and so I'll just I'll just work my way across out there where where the turkeys will be and see if it films me that's a good sign Good sign. Now I'm clear on the other side of the meadow from my camera. So I'm going to walk straight towards the camera now and then I'll have a video that shows exactly where it starts because there's no way it's filming me right now. I wouldn't think so. I'm 50 yards away from it. Here's a problem, and all that walking around, it only got one video. Need to reassess what I'm my setup here because if it didn't catch me out there, it's it's not likely to get very many pictures of turkeys. I don't think they come that well. They're obviously going to. <laughs> now I got to figure out where to put the camera again. thing is I don't know and there's no way because I don't have any kind of a reader that I can look at this this card right now and know if it even caught any of me so oh well I'm gonna switch out to a fresh card and I'm just gonna say heck with it it is where it is we'll find out next week when I check it whether or not I got any pictures or what the heck happened put padlock on it and we'll hike on out of here. Let's get hiking. Well I made it back to the truck in one piece. I guess I'm not too far out of shape. Steep pills. It's a good thing I'm doing this. It'll get me in shape for turkey season. And now the long wait to see what will I capture. <laughs> it's going to be a long week. You know, I'm still kind of new to this video blogging thing, and I'd love to hear your feedback. And let me know, you know am I picking good material? Do you enjoy it? What would really make Weasel in the Wild even better? Let me know.